Well, greetings to everyone. You join us here on a snowy evening ahead of the big match. And these weather conditions have, of course, been the major talking points, indeed the major concern in the hours leading up to kickoff here. You can understand why there was a point during the course of the afternoon when we wondered whether the game might indeed have to be pulled off. But a lot of people have put in a lot of hard work. Indeed, members of the public have been enlisted to uh, come down and form some sort of an army against the elements. They've done really well against the odds. The pitch is clear and indeed the public areas have been passed fit and safe for purpose. This really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? I've got to go for the powerful Bafatimbi Gomis. Uh, he may not be an example of technical perfection, but his robust style helps him to get the job done by, by sheer force at times, and he'll plow through most offences. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. And we're underway. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Nicely controlled. <laughs> Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. And the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Al Hilal will have an early lead. Good start. Hoists it forward. Gets away from his opponents. Al Hilal are enjoying a good spell right now and leading. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1 0. Keeper's got good distance on that, cuts it out. Forward it goes. Over to the left. It is quite a run he's making here. That's a throw.
Ball's loose. Who's getting there? And he's there to hoof it away. First half to a close. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But that one still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, that certainly pleased the fans and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Al Hilal went for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Al-Hilal really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Hoists it high. And that's been leave it clear. Away from immediate danger. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. <laughs> Being still separated by the game's only goal. What are you thinking? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just... at a shot! <laughs> no mistake! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! And the love are so well-practiced in the art of keeping the ball through, wonderful passing and movement, and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal counts. Things starting to look very comfortable. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Good idea, just poorly executed. And it's Gomis. Gomis plays it out to the flank. And it's kept out by a stubborn defence. Well, that's not going to make it. So who's he picking out? Goes for goal! Their oh, effort, he reacted well. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. So here comes the substitution. Well, you have to feel a little for the player been taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Great lead! Oh, not 
the best of headers. He's made sure that that won't get through. And that's that. He should win by a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side. And the result reflects as much. What are your thoughts on today's game, Benjamin? I think a lot were victorious here, and rightly so. When